It's wine night. Well, not wine night. Root beer night. Root beer! And yeah, we're gonna keep it fancy. We have our wine glass. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven root beers that we will be trying. Watch to check out because we need to find out what is the best root beer. What root beer do I fancy the most? Root beer! Let's indulge. This is Genuine Hank's Gourmet Philadelphia, <laughs> Philadelphia recipe root beer. Mm. The flavor for Hank's was developed from an old Philadelphia root beer recipe. Pure cane sugar and gourmet quality ingredients enhance the body, head, mouth, feel, and flavor, creating the richest, smoothest, and creamiest soda possible. Well, I'm not afraid to call bullshit. I've never had Hank's, but you know what? Today's the day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's divine. A lot of vanilla. Rumor! Very, very strong. Not like a mugs. Like very, very strong and pungent root beer. Mm, yes. Hmm. A little watery. It almost tastes expired. Am I tripping dick right now? You feel the pungence, you feel it, but the flavor's not there. Looking quite sophisticated today, Jake. Thank you, you as well. I know this is the first one I've drinking, so it's technically first, but it's also technically last, and I would like to call it last. It's very watered down. The smell smells smell eh? pungent vanilla but when you actually sip it it's like it was sitting in your room for 3 days. There's no carbonation. Hank sucks fat balls. Did you come in it? Yes, I did. <laughs> Let's go with a more well-known brand, the a and I ran my balls through glass to be able to get this bottled version. a and is a popular brand of root beer that has been around since 19... The secret to A&W's root beer's unique flavor is a blend of ingredients that include some blah, 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 blah. These ingredients give the beverage its signature taste that's both sweet and spicy. It's known for its distinctive creamy flavor. Now you already know that this will be better than the Hanks. Hanks isn't known because it's quite frankly, ass cheeks. Look at that fizz. Wow, okay, it's that same pungent smell, but this time it smells sugary. Very fun smell. <laughs> but before we get into this, we're gonna need a palate cleanser. I put my chips upside down to give it the ultimate amount of freshness. These are the buffalo wings, and they kind of suck. They don't taste like buffalo wings. I prefer the hot and spicy ones better, but I already bought them, so these will be the palate cleansers. Oh my god, that is so ass. Let's get into this before our carbonation subsides. Wow. It's definitely the creamiest root beer I've put into my mouth. Good amount of sugar, little lacking on the vanilla. Root beer! Like a little bit of vanilla taste. And this one is creamy, but it could definitely use a little more vanilla. It's definitely above Hank's, I would say. Here is the IBC root beer. Apparently it's pretty popular, but I've never heard of this bitch. Palette cleanser? Mm -hmm. IBC root beer. It's actually owned by Dr. Pepper currently. The original brand of IBC went out of business and was bought out by Dr. Pepper. That's... Uh, uh, root beer! For those who prefer a sweeter taste, we found no better national offering than IBC's root beer made with a cane sugar, and it's a bit closer to cream soda than some other brands, which contain more wintergreen or licorice flavor. This is exciting. It's about to take my IBC virginity. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! 
That's a good smelling root beer. It's strong like cologne. I swear. Wow. Okay, this is the strongest, sweetest, boldest one yet, I would say. Wow, that is thick. Oh my god, it's so rich. It's rich like chocolate. Now that's a root beer! This is the best root beer yet. It's thick, it's bold, it's flavorful, it's sugary, creamy, and it just makes me want to bust all over the place. IBC, number one, number two, and W, number three, the shit in the shithole is Hank's. Olipop. It's like the healthy root beer. It combines the classic soda you know and love with prebiotics, plant fiber, and botanicals to support your microbiome digestive health. Finally, a refreshing soda that's actually good for you. Our old-fashioned root beer melds the right mix of classic bite and creamy sweetness with extracts of sweet birch, smooth vanilla bean, and real burdock root. They're describing everything that makes a root beer good. But why do I think it's gonna taste like my grandpa's fucking nutsack on a hot summer day? Let's try it out. But first, let's get a palate cleanse in here. Wow, okay, that smells like closer to caramel than root beer. Oh, that's... That smells like expired soda, and I've smelled a lot of expired soda. <laughs> wow, it's definitely the worst. You get like a fucking a and W zero if you don't want the calories, but this Olipop, this is torture to the taste buds. My taste bud boners, they're flaccid, they're flat. Also, if we're, if we're talking about healthy root beers, I would highly recommend you trying Zevia versus Olipop. Zevia is, quite frankly, I would say, the best low-cal alternative for root beer! Now, we have this one I've never heard of, the Boylan root beer but this is one of the top 10 most well-known root beers unfortunately i was uneducated but you know what that's what this stream's for we're gonna get educated uh. boiling root beer is a rich salsa fraz flavor deprived from cinnamon I do like my cinnamon. I actually have not heard the word cinnamon on any of these root beers. That's exciting. Sweet birch, vanilla, and a wintergreen oil. This one smells closest to the IBC. Rich, bold smell. I'm excited for this one. Hopefully it doesn't let me down. Like Olipop and Hanks. Those need to be discontinued immediately. Wow, okay, it's strong, but I'm a little scared because it does smell a little rank. But I think a lot of brew beers do have that rank smell. It's it's to where when it starts to taste, that's when it's good. I really hope that this isn't a letdown. Because once it's now it's in the cup, I'm getting a little bit of a different smell going on here. Whoa! Okay, I'm almost tasting like a cherry. Wow, what is that flavor? This is a very exciting taste on root beer. I've never had a root beer with this taste. Yeah, it's fruity. It's uh, lots of lots of smell. Like I don't know what the hell that is, but it is so good, dude. I'm gonna have to put that in second place behind the IBC. That is just a very very special taste right here. A boilin. This is the first time trying you, and um, quite frankly. I'm impressed. Now we're going with a classic right here. Dad's old fashioned root beer. This is the root beer that you would find, I would say at like a quirky business, not like a 7-Eleven or anything like that. Something like small, maybe local quirky. But dad's root beer, it's something that when you see it, you gotta get your hands on it. The essential ingredients are wintergreen, licorice, and vanilla. Licorice, that's crazy. I love licorice. I'm excited, let's get into it. Oh yeah, that is the best smelling one. Very smooth, very flavorful. It's your ideal root beer, I would say. Ooh, has a little bit of a sting, like a good root beer sting. You know, like a cigarette. It's bold, I like that, but it doesn't punch you like a few of the other flavors that I've 
had. I would have to put this in third place. So right now the top three are Dad's, Boylan, and IBC. These are the top three best root beers so far. And AMW is very popular. It didn't make the top three. I know it's a lot of drama. It's crazy. But sometimes the most popular items aren't actually the best tasting. And I'm the guy right here that's proven that to you. Now we have one last one. And this is my all-time favorite root beer. Barks. Root beer. Finding it is like finding Mr. Pib. It's not that common. The aroma is bubblegum, licorice, and cola with a mild antiseptic like sarsfa parilla. What the hell? And faint mint. It tastes like sweet berry fruit, sherbet, lemonade, cola. Ooh. I think that might have been the craziest pop yet. Oh yeah, it's because all the other ones were bottles, that's why. <laughs> that was the most satisfying opening. Oh my god, okay. Just like the IBC, it's like those little root beer candies. It's just so strong and like candy smell, I love it. Here we go. That's a goddamn root beer. Very strong and vanilla. I like that a lot. It's very bold. You know what? This is crazy. I always hype up Barks root beer. Third place. Let me tell you why. The boiling, there's just something about that sweet fruit taste that just makes it just undescribable. It's a whole experience. IBC, it's made by Dr. Pepper, so I feel it when it goes into my esophagus. The feeling of those that little fruity taste and vanilla taste, like just everything about it, just it's such a punch. Let's finish the palate cleanse. And that is my root beer review. Hopefully this gives you guys a new perspective on what root beers to try. If you guys want to be a part of this live chat right here, you go to twitch.tv slash jakeweber69. You can watch the stream live, super sick, super fun. Shop the merch at jakemerch.com. Everything's not going to be there forever. So if you support me, shop some merch. Music video soon for XC. Stream that shit. Love you guys so much. Peace.